Hello there. Now we all know that Lego can be a little behind on releasing sets for certain series and shows, especially when it comes to Star Wars. I thought today we'd take on a mock from season three of The Mandalorian, and it is the scene where Keller and Beck rescues Grogu from the Jedi Temple. This mock is not based on any leaks. We don't know that Lego will be making the set or whether it is confirmed or not. However, last time I did a video speaking about the future of LEGO sets, LEGO did actually post a bunch of the Star Wars Starship collection. So for all we know, there could be a Grogu's Jedi Temple escape released by the time this video goes up. So if there is a LEGO set already out by now, this is completely coincidental, but I'll try and get this video out before LEGO release their own. And what you can see on screen now is my interpretation of what a Grogu escape set would look like if Lego were to do one right now. And this does actually take some inspiration from last year's Young Jedi Adventures set, the Tenu Temple. Because we have a speeder build, there's not really anything we could have had in the foreground of this build. So instead of having the little, I think it was a training droid and then there was a stack of rocks or stack of boxes, both a reference to one of the episodes, this speeder has used a higher piece count and is bulked up mainly by this sidecar, which we will take a look at in a minute. But much like the Tenu Temple from the Tenu Temple playset, we do have a build here which has at least one hidden function. I wasn't able to get a moving door on this. I know I've gone crazy with my moving doors at the minute. There isn't one on this set I'm afraid and we will get into a few things like which clone is most suitable for this set and I'll let you know why I think the Coruscant Guard works and also comparing this speeder to the other four speeders in my collection, two of which are mocks and two of which are from actual sets. First I think we'll take a look at the actual Jedi Temple building and it doesn't look much like a Jedi Temple and that is because it is in fact the two lifts, one of which Grogu does come out as you can see it is open and I've built it a bit bigger than I think Lego would, but it definitely gets the point across and adds to this mock. There'd definitely be two or three lift doors. They'd probably even give us some printed panels like they did with the Tenu Temple and the rock work. We'll probably get a printed closed door and then a open print, perhaps on a glass piece with a lift built behind it. And then, of course, the detailing in the middle. There is some octagonal shape on this bottom panel here or as there is meant to be but again lego would probably print that piece as there's no suitable lego pieces to represent it especially at a smaller scale now if we do turn around this lift design you can see that there are two lightsabers hidden behind this closed lift and that is for keller and beck to pick up well in fact he already has one but pick up the other one from the fallen Jedi in the lift, which Grogu has, I guess, waited with in waiting for the lift to go to the right floor. But we'll forget about that detail and pick up to fend off from all the troopers. Now, whilst they're at the temple, it is the 501st troopers that are arriving on the speeder bike. You see two of the 501st on this exact speeder bike that Keller and Leia steals. And one of the 501st on a single bike without the sidecar. Now, we'll get to removing the sidecar in a minute, but I think that the Coruscant Guard is a more fitting trooper for this scene because it works well with the gunship we got last year, and they're still in the battle pack, so they're still making this trooper. It makes sense for LEGO to include it because it's easier for them and also helps to bulk up your collection to fill your gunship. As you can see in one of the scenes, there is a gunship that arrives, not a Coruscant Guard gunship, but both troopers are seen coming off. So it does fit with the scene. It's not exactly out of place, but as they've already got the Coruscant Guard in the arsenal, I think that makes more sense. And keeping the plane phase two exclusive to that battle pack. Again, the Coruscant Guard have been in two sets already and Actually, whilst we're here, I would like to point out that the custom arms you can see on my Coruscant Guard, Plane Phase 2 and 501st, as well as this custom printed official Lego headpiece, all come from Firestar Toys. So I'll try and find the link to the headpiece and the arms and I'll leave them down in the description below. Don't forget to use my code at the checkout to save 10%. But I really do like the fact that we get a 
little build with this mock a lot of the mocks i do are vehicular based and a few of my dioramas i've gone all out on the scenery and included no vehicles but to include a bit of both a smaller vehicle with a smaller display just brings the scene together and i definitely think the coruscant guards would work even if we got a temple build now looking at the speeder i did say that the sidecar does disconnect and it's not too easy but if you were to pop it off so we can get a closer look at what exactly connects it i've used two of these one by five panels and they do actually have a technic axle hole in the middle but there is not much technic i think actually there is no technic usually speeders include a technic axle to include the engines there but i've used a completely different design and as you can see it goes from four studs to two studs i think there was a similar piece included in the clone wars bark speeder the one that included kenobi with rex in the sidecar a commando on a separatist speeder and honestly that was a great set we could even get a similar thing with this where we get a bark speeder with a sidecar and then just another bark speeder by itself but i don't see lego including two bark speeders because people can just grab two of the sets and have a bark speeder by itself so you can see just how slim the bark speeder is obviously it's missing the engine on the bottom but just how slim this is compared to some of my models and we will take a look at it in a second but what you do to remove the sidecar is simply just pop off this piece here reconnect this just under the seat where it was and it doesn't look too much different to what a speeder would look like i guess you could go the extra step and replace this one by two piece that is included here just to make sure that you can connect these and fill the gap in the middle but if lego could do something similar to that design i think it'd go down really well with fans of the set and really would just make it that much easier to mock into a regular speeder and a lot more people would be buying multiple of the set but grogu is in his pod on this seat now this seat does actually fit a fully sized clone and you can even get quite a sizable backpack on this side because of the slope piece i've used there but that slope is actually there to allow grogu in his pod to fit it's a very simplistic design I'm not quite sure if I showed off my last design for Grogu's pod, but I broke it down and instead of trying to rebuild it, I wanted this one to be a lot smaller. And all I've used is a few of these slope pieces to get the roundness. And it is a bit taller. Grogu's pod does tend to be more this shape where it's egg shaped on its side. So I've somewhat stood it up, but it just means it can fit a lot easier in this side car. And one of the most impressive techniques in fact there's a few with this model that i really enjoy of course we've got the front engine here which has the typical hinge piece and the clip piece with the teeth at the front to represent that engine i'd have loved to get this handlebar piece at the front in the dark red to match up with the colors but i just don't own any in that color so i've used a gray but you can use your imagination and replace this with a dark red piece now We've got the front of the speeder here, which has this hinge piece, which is actually being angled by two one by one cheese slopes, as you can see there. And that just gives it a nice angle to the front. It's still got this very thin white line as it does in the show. And it's just a nice combination of Lego bricks. And we've got a few other snot pieces, these clipped unicorn horns on the bottom which represent the little fins because i had to get them smaller than these ones over here but one of the most interesting and unique features for this set comes actually in the engines of the speeder bike as you can see we've got a little dark bluish gray sticky out bit in the engine like you'd see if you get a close-up in the show and that is created by put in one of the comlink pieces in here with a one by one by two thirds brick which then allows it to go all the way through into the next snot brick and that snot brick is actually holding up the fin here using one of these minifigure poses i have not held back when i've designed the engines for this bike and then as you can see the engines do slide in i felt like it was a bit better than them sliding down as lego usually have them or sliding up i can't remember which way now because they do seem a bit sleeker in the show and of course we do have one stud on the outside 
but considering that that and the four studs down here are the only studs that are exposed in this entire model i think it's worked out pretty well now I did say I would be comparing these to my other models, so let's bring them out. And as you can see, there is only one other bark with a sidecar, and it was the one that I created from the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack, and that originally came with a Swamp Speeder. So that is perhaps why this is the least bark speeder looking out of my three mocks the first two are customs i've built this one's actually from the 501st battle pack we got all the way back in 2019 2020 and of course we've got keller and speeder these two speeders are from the 2014 battle pack and the 2024 battle pack so these are actually a full decade apart and it was really nice at lego to revisit this one but i think the one that came in this year's battle pack is definitely the worst looking out of all of them i mean it might be close it's up for personal preference and nostalgia whether you dislike this one more but it just doesn't really look like a bark speeder it was lego's first attempt when we didn't have much content to see a bark speeder in besides i'm not even sure revenge of the sith was out at that time it might have been revenge of the sith the first time we saw a bark speeder but either way it's not terrible it just doesn't really look like what it's meant to and i think my Keller and Beck speeder, although it takes a completely different take to perhaps even my preferred bark speeder, which is this one, of course, it does still look like a bark speeder. I think all of these, except for the 2024 one, still hold their own up as a bark speeder and look really well together in a set. And for the last three here, you can see each and every one of them uses the Typical minifigure blasters as some sort of blaster on the bark speeder. Now with this Coruscant speeder of sorts, Jedi Temple speeder, I guess it's not built for war. So they didn't actually have any blasters in the show. If you take a quick look, there is a little handlebar which probably helps them get in and out of the vehicle. And that is it on the engine. So it's a nice detail they've included in the show. And because of that, I haven't tried to include any blaster here and down at the bottom i guess you could call it a little pistol piece but i haven't used a pistol element from lego i've instead used this little l bar which does represent some pistols so perhaps i haven't completely steered away from using weapons on the speeder but it's a much more interesting piece than a typical blaster and allows these fins at the front to stick up straight without like this speeder using any extra pieces so let me know what you think. There will be a community poll out of these four speeders. I probably won't include the 2024 one. But out of the other four speeders, which one you prefer? And of course, unlike this speeder here, which you could probably disconnect the sidecar by removing a few pieces. But it will weaken the back of the build. And this is up for free on Rebrickable, by the way. This is part of a speeders collection. Let me know if you want to break down that into separate builds. Because... It's not been too popular and I realise that many people won't want to buy five speeders just for the one. Even though it's at a reduced price, let me know if you'd like these to be sold separately. I can't give them for free because they are in that bundle, but perhaps that'll be a way I do it going forward. And if you want to see this on Rebrickable, I'm sure by the time the video actually goes out, I'll probably have built it on Studio. So let me know down in the comments and like with all my other sets, I'll get back to you when the instructions are up. But overall, I'm very happy with my collection of park speeders. And I think that a Grogu escape set is something that we definitely need very soon. So I'll be interested to see what clone trooper Lego go with if they build this set and all the other sets we might get from Mandalorian Season 3. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video as it helps out a lot. And subscribe for more awesome Lego content. May the bricks be with you always.